guys welcome to my channel my channel lunar clips tarot aka kelly kelly jimon kelly here with a general collective reading keep in mind listen linda because it is general it may or may not resonate with your ass also keep in mind patreon did see it first if you're interested the link is down below as well as the link to my 18 plus deck and if there is an extended all of that will be down below all right so what is it that you need to know right now okay as i pulled the deck to get an overall energy the one card that remained was irritated so overall energy right now is irritated okay i don't like it but i take it All right how is this person viewing the connection or what is what is it that's making them feel irritated why are they feeling irritated okay some of them feel like maybe um <sighs> dude they feel like they fucked up um Listen, divine timing is at work right now in this connection. 100% fucking truth. Divine timing. Right now, some of you are being protected from things in this connection that will break this connection. I'm not talking like cutting cord type stuff. What I'm talking about more is the things that this person needs to work through. The differences maybe that they see between the two of you that they've worked up in their head are enough to not come forward. Um, trigger warning, they may be irritated that they even are thinking of you or feeling the way that they're feeling towards you. They look at you as being very pure. They may feel like they are um, riddled with riddled with sin, just just a lot of imperfections, a lot of work needing to be done. God, I feel like they're even irritated um, about maybe even taking like this leap of faith, seeing the fool. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Some of them know that you will be receptive, but they are still kind of avoiding it. I feel like they're all sort of scared, though. Some of them may not be taking that um, movement or not moving forward towards you because there is some kind of external factor. <clears throat> an outside influence maybe you're aware of whatever that factor is and you've created distance from this person that can be irritating to them as well all right what else yeah i i don't like it and i'm gonna continue to do the reading because that's just what i fucking do um <laughs> okay. i i'm just kind of getting this energy that it's it's not wanted and it could be both of you that are just kind of like really wishing that you could move on get closure maybe to this connection Okay, we got mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. <clears throat> so some of them are not, not speaking their truth on how it is that they feel or not telling you that they do want to rekindle this connection, dude, wedding rings, union, commitment, everlasting promise. rekindling rekindling of this connection i still get the energy of this person like not wanting to do it but it's it's like it's being it's being um like trickled into them 
replaying things in their head over and over this person i feel like right now they are just an overthinking fucking ninny like they are just over analyzing everything all right one message for the collective about this about this connection okay Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Some of you, that expectation that you have on this person could be what is what, what is what. The expectation for them to come in and provide something to you is making them feel that irritation. There's a lot, a lot of pressure a lot of pressure to be perfect again there's something about you where they see you as almost like angelic yeah they're like following listen i feel like they've really been rejecting paper chasing on the floor <clears throat> really been rejecting um reaching out to you following their intuition exactly following not following their inner guidance letting an external factor of whatever means kind of get in the way of listening to their inner guidance right and then that would lead to them messaging you, them reaching out, them connecting with you. God, can the fucking person you're watching this video for, can they just follow their fucking intuition? Can they follow their heart? Can they follow their fucking soul? I mean, obviously they do see you in some type of light that makes them think about being with you in a committed relationship whether that be marriage or just being with you how are they feeling in their how's this person feeling in their headspace or actually yeah it's gonna do like more of an overall see <clears throat> how are they just feeling Headspace, heart space, all of the above. I swear this motherfucker be coming out in all of the decks, ace of swords, clarity, seeing things clearly, the truth, speaking the truth. <laughs> no longer be hiding, hiding behind this mask. <clears throat> and why? Because within you, within this connection, they know that they would be fulfilled. They know that... Um, their heart would be fulfilled. Everything would be just on a level of absolute bliss. And they may feel, you know, the love blockages. Maybe I'll pull from that. Maybe they're feeling like they don't deserve that. I do feel like there could be planning as well. What else for the over overall planning and watching? Of course, I'm seeing why I talk when you can stuck and look at this shit. Judgment, Ace of Swords has been coming out uh, the last four to five months constantly, but this person is withdrawn, very much withdrawn. Um, with the Ace of Swords and the Judgment, there is no question that this person is aware aware of the connection aware of you you are absolutely being fucking seen whether you want to be seen by this person or not you are being seen you are being viewed and it's being fucking hidden from you absolutely hidden from you it's all i need it's being hidden from you twin flame soulmate energy deep love past life um There's such a deep fucking love for you. It's like, why can't they just take that leap of faith? Why can't they just jump into 
into what their soul is fucking calling them to do to reach out to you to actually make the effort <clears throat> I know I was wrong by not talking to you would you be open to talking now some of them really feel some type of way when they ghost you. You're not even aware. You think that it's the same. Listen, there was, where am I at? 10 minutes. Most people only watch till 10 minutes. So a lot of you are going to miss this, which is good because it's only meant for the OG people that watch the entire reading. So there, um, there are some recent events um, that have happened within my own situation. And knowing that things have changed there's still the appearance of it being how it was even years ago. What I'm referring to is the ghosting. Me saying something and there being no response and there not being anything. And then when I reached out again and said something else, then there was this communication, which is abnormal. Usually it's just complete silence. So yes, there was silence and it had the appearance of being exactly what it was years ago but it wasn't it was something that was being marinated on and that is what is happening that is what is happening within your connection with your person always speak your truth i say stay in your lane divine feminine all of these things but if you feel guided to reach out to your person reach out to them if you feel guided to do whatever it is you're feeling guided to do do it a lot of them are thinking thinking about you thinking about things that have been said watching you rereading shit like they're they're doing things that are unknown to you again that are being hidden from you some of them are not expressing the way that they are feeling they're fucking irritated some of them are really irritated that <laughs> for some reason you were chosen and they can't they can't get it out they can't they can't stop it they can't stop the way that they're feeling <clears throat> you are the one and only some of them could be irritated by just <laughs> again this deep love that they have for you maybe some of the things that you've said to them like they would never let anyone else say it and for some reason <laughs> you say it and yes it's painful um, and they don't want to hear it, but it's something that, listen, you can't fuck up your connection. It doesn't matter whatever you say. Go jump off a bridge and die. Like you can't, you can't fuck your connection up. What is meant to be yours cannot be stopped, cannot be stopped. I'm putting myself first right now and they know that they know that. They're doing what's best for them. Some of them, even if it appears that, you know, they're doing whatever, there is a lot of introspection. There is a lot of going within. There is a lot of contemplation. There is a lot of um, like this inner, inner knowing and inner guidance. Divine intervention is always at play. Some of you, you want it right now. You can't settle just for the fact that, yes, they do have a deep love for you. They feel very deeply for you, but they're not taking action. Some of you want to force it, and you cannot, you cannot force it. You have to allow. Karmic connection moving from the patterns okay so some of them external factor that interference is another person I will take action soon please believe in me something needs it, before anything can happen within the connection there needs to be an ending of other things if some of them were to take action now and they are dealing with another person again it could be something that is super detrimental to this connection 
Doesn't matter what your connection is. Some things that can happen could break the connection. And again, I'm not talking like cutting cords or anything like that. I'm talking about you just being done or them not being able to reconcile or get to a place where they can be what it is that you are expecting them to be. Paper chasing. Paper chasing. Oh, oh shit. Please understand that I need space right now. Yeah. And that's not something that they want you to know. So some of you, you know, you're not blocked by your person or maybe you're blocked on social media, but you can still reach out in other ways. Um, let them be. I did a video not long ago about how the silence is really working miracles. Look for videos like that. Learn to accept the silence. Learn to ex not let your mind run. Your mind run telling you all sorts of things about this connection because you're not hearing from them. And like I just said a couple minutes ago about how everything kind of seems the same, but it wasn't. It wasn't. His response was unlike any response that I've ever had in five years. But yet the action was still the same. And so it put me in a place, well, here goes one more thing that's said and not responded to. And <laughs> yeah, please forgive me. I know I messed up. Yeah, some of them feel like there's a lot of damage that has been done that maybe can't be undone to this connection. But you are the one and only, yeah? You're the one and only for them. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. I fucking, f I feel that. I fucking feel that, man. Um, trying to get my mind right every day. Trying to get my mind right every day. I feel like they are working really hard to get their shit fucking right to get their minds right, to get to get shit in order so that they can come towards you, so that they can put action behind what it is that they're feeling. Again, some of them are being held back from their third parties or just an external factor in general, okay? Exactly. This isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> oh, shit. They're fucking coming back. You are so beautiful inside and out. I know that we're spiritually connected. Ace of Swords, judgment. They know. They know. Yeah, they can be irritated. Yeah, you can be irritated. Like, why am I so connected to this person that ain't taking no fucking action? <laughs> um, they know that you guys are being spiritually guided and that you are connected and that there's something, there's just something about you, okay? Things move so fast and I didn't know how to trust my feeling for you. Some of them, you are not, the norm you know there may be a lot of differences there could be age differences racial differences um living in different countries there's so many things that could be going on in the connection that are considered obstacles in order for union to ever happen with this person now talking twin flame yes this person could be your twin flame they could be your soulmate they could be a karmic they could be whatever label it is that you put on them remember those labels are of the 3d okay we're all meant to encounter whatever people we encounter, whatever those connections are. I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just a fool for not admitting it earlier. They've always known. This person has always felt this overwhelming love for you. <laughs> and just hasn't admitted it. And maybe they're still not admitting it. And maybe they're even still trying to deny it to themselves and still try to like push that down so that they're not feeling what it is that they're feeling. Again, that irritated card, my eye keeps going back to it. Um, this is all great shit, but I do feel like they are irritated with themselves, with this connection, maybe even with you. Some of the things that you've said, some of the things that they didn't respond to, but hit really fucking hard. Your words hit them really fucking hard. <clears throat> I 
I hope the future will bring us together. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. I think it's past the point of falling for you. I think that this person, this energy loves, loves you. Again, there is a very deep love for you. One that cannot, cannot be shoved aside. Something that keeps coming up. Again, the irritating, irritating card. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <sighs> irritated with putting themselves first as well please give me a second chance there's sort of a desperation here please don't hate me for ghosting you you didn't deserve it again some of them don't ghost you because of any other reason then they don't know how to respond. They don't know what to say. Some of the things maybe that you've said to them are so spot on that when you say it, it's almost like a little kid getting caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Just that instant like guilt and shame and all of these feelings and they know, they know that they're wrong. Some of them will read your message and not even say anything. The appearance of, I'm telling you, there's anything out of this reading, if you're watching at this point that you take from it, the silence, the non-communication in the 3D is huge and it is detrimental to the connection in a way that it's needed. It fucking sucks really bad, but it is absolutely 100% needed. You can't tell the person what 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 it is that you're feeling and what the they have to figure it out on their own and how do they do that in the silence not communicating with you feeling you maybe feeling your presence around them not understanding why doing their own research they have to come to the conclusion you cannot tell them you cannot tell them i told mine he was my twin flame four and a half years ago, something like that. He never responded. <laughs> I never expected to fall in love. I hide my true desires for you. Oh, shit. A lot of hiding. A lot of not expecting for you to hit so fucking hard man i <clears throat> honestly i don't even know if i want to do an extended on this <sighs> that's yeah you know what let me let's pull some final a few more messages i think i'm gonna take this oh what was stuck in there karmic ties i'm feeling controlled by the people around and i don't like it it's pushing me to find my power again it was one that was stuck in there that i just rattled out okay oh please give me a second chance i never expected to fall in love i hide my true desires for you as i put that card down i threw those three up So that's going to be significant for somebody. Really that feeling of never feeling like maybe where the connection at is at should have ever gotten there. And what I'm hearing is the message that mine sent to me, which was, I didn't choose to love you, my soul did. I didn't choose to love you, my soul did. I'm beginning to focus on my mission and our connection is a part of that. I was gonna say surrender and then I was like, I know someone's gonna drop kick me in my face 
as you surrender your 3D expectations, I surrender to our 5D connection. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. As you surrender to the 3D expectation, they surrender to the 5D connection. Damn, that is fucking powerful. And the first time I've seen that card. Communication. I'll contact you when I'm able to. Right now my life is too complicated to bring you into it, but know that I do want to talk to you. And don't judge this. Just surrender. I know it's triggering, but from a higher perspective, it's clearing energy and bringing us closer together. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to leave this whole reading right here. I'm not taking it to an extended... I apologize to my Patreon members that pay for the extendeds. Not every reading can be extended. Um, and this is the reading. So if you're new to my channel and you dig my vibe, please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.